Hey, check, check, one, two. Hey, good afternoon. It's 12 o'clock over here, so this is the part where we lunch and learn. You have lunch. I'm going to learn. I'm going to show you a few things that I've been dabbling with. I'm starting this journey to immerse myself with Power Apps. I don't know why I've been so shy from trying to use Power Apps, but just trying to build on some of the things that I've already learned uh, from before and try to see how I could put that inside my Power Apps. So let me just show you what I have kind of come up with here to see if we can get this to work. Uh, let's see if I could turn this off here so you can see what it looks like. Bam. All right. So going to bring my phone up because I've created a mobile app using uh, Power Apps, which is kind of cool. Let's see if I can bring this up here for you. So HX Capture. Let's start an NDI source, so that way you can bring it up there for you on the screen. See if it comes up. Bam. Okay, there's the phone. Let's open up Power Apps. Awesome. So as you can see, the, the Power App can actually have controls that it can actually show you uh, a camera. So I've added a few controls. But let me just get to the basics here. So what you're looking at is a Power App that can control the lights in my home uh, by clicking buttons. Uh, it can also get the presence of my status inside Teams. So let me see. So right now it shows I'm busy, but I'm going to go to my Teams client if I could find it somewhere around here. And I'm going to change my status from here to available. All right, let's do that. Available. And I'm going to click this button called get presence right at the top. And if I click it, it's going to go get via API the status and it shows that it's available. So that's cool. I can get presence and I can take some action on it. Now, what's cool about Power Apps is like, that's a moving background or if you wanna say a video. So you can actually add videos in here. So if you had to really create a cool app, uh, you know, the possibilities could be endless on how you wanna do this. The other thing I wanted to do was push a button and click it to change a light. So right now the lights in the house are Bright, but I'm going to change it to like a busy light. So I click that busy button and then it changes the light. So that's pretty kick ass too. So I like that. And I click available and it goes back to bright again. Now there's one more button at the bottom, which is a little bit different than the first two experimental buttons. This one, I have created a connector, a custom connector. And connectors are the power of. Power apps like you want to connect to data sources outside. Uh, it could be in your environment, it could be external as well. So when I click this button that shows uh, API connector, it's going to go get my team status and based on my availability, change the light to a, a specific color. So if I click that, uh, what I'm expecting is the light to go back to white because that was available. So I'm going to go Teams now and change my status to, I don't know, busy, right? And I'll click the API connector button one more time. Now it's gone busy and the lights have changed as well. So, so you could, I, I, I can't even imagine what more we could do with this, but just, just me started with Power Apps and just trying to see how we can incorporate it, uh, you know, from a mobile uh, perspective. So I really like it. Uh, I don't know why I shied myself for, from, from using this, but it's a really cool tool. So I'm just going to put that away for a second. All right, close that. Um, let's go to show you something else. How do I build this, right? So let's go here, title. Let's move this to the left. And let's go to Samson and bring this up there. Okay, so, so that's the Power App that we were seeing on the phone. That's it right now. It's actually pulling up a camera that's uh, connected to the desktop. So you could see me there. That's a toggle switch. But let me go to edit this. So what I've called this app the Power Presence. Thank you. But there we go. Keep it power. So Power Presence. Uh, and essentially, you know, when you click it, it launches the app. But there's a way for me to go edit this app uh, right here. I'm going to click edit so you could see what I've done in here. So a few things uh, that I'm using in this one, I'm using a premium connector, uh, HTTP uh, as well. So, uh, and the reason for that is I'm connecting to Graph. 
uh, using HTTP as well. So that's how I get this. Looks pretty tiny on this here. So let's see if you can get this a bit bigger or see what it is. So the part where you click the button and it actually gets uh, the thing, the way this worked was, I think I had an action on this for Power Automate. So when you click the button, it would go launch this uh, or, or associate it with a flow, which gets my presence. Uh, and then based on that, it would set a variable, uh, which is where, uh, which is how the display shows up available, do not disturb and so forth. So that's how I did that. Pretty simple uh, step to begin with. The other one was here where I created uh, dedicated buttons, which would you know change uh, the light based on that. And that's uh, a premium connector that I was using that I was saying earlier. Let me see if I could show you these uh, flows in just a second here. See how this looks. Uh, my flows my flows my flows here we go so here we go power uh app so so these are my flows and uh let me just actually get out of the way hold on adios we all right um so these are the four flows that are used by the app um uh, that is can be seen and the important thing is um when you is your start your trigger should be uh a power app trigger. So if this loads up there, so your trigger is power app. In this case, I've created a custom connector. So the reason you don't see anything in here is because the connector has all the logic. And that's great because connectors can be shared. Uh, so that way it becomes reusable for others. And then whatever value it gets, it was able to send it back to my app as well. So that was kind of cool. I really like that. Uh, let me see if I can come back here. All right. Maybe I should just green screen myself. Let's see here, right click and green screen, bam. All right, let's go to the bottom left. Oh, those are the effects I make. <laughs> All right, uh, um, okay, so yeah, so that was using that one. In the other cases, uh, you know, this was a bit of more of work because in here I had to put the authorization uh, and get my token before I could get to something else uh, in here. So that's how I did that in there. Uh, but with the connector, uh, I was a lot. I was able to do a lot more. Let's see if I can load up this custom connector uh, that's here. Uh, so that's the custom connector that I created. And if I edit it, you can see that the connector has all the uh, authentication, uh, it has the definition on how I'm going to get there. So connecting to graph or at the bottom there, if you go to security, it's going to be all blank for now, but it's, it's part of being entered before, but my client, my secret, everything in here and where it would redirect to, uh, updated my definition, which contains the requests just to get the presence for me. And then last but not least, you could quickly test that just to make sure the operation works uh, and it gives you back a 200, which is the response HTTP. And you could see in there, there would be the details of your thing. That goes into flow and that's how that worked. So I thought this was really cool. Uh, you know, using Power Apps, uh, creating a Canvas app is what I've done here. And just simply learning to use a connector, uh, get, uh, uh, to get my presence, uh, can't set it. Uh, also, bring up a camera. I think you can. I had a toggle here, which could toggle. If you hold the Alt key, you could. I believe you could toggle these things in edit mode. Yeah. So now it's trying to switch a camera. And the last was the API connector. Uh, and the API connector, which was the biggest thing I did in my discovery and learning, was you know it would set the presence uh, uh, variable by getting. Uh, the uh, flow that runs to get my presence. And then if it depends what the value is, it would just change the, uh, the, the format or the fonts. And in some cases I said, go run a flow uh, if it provided those responses. So, so the reason the lights were changing is it's running those flows that were in there. Looks like I'm getting a phone call. I'm just gonna put this down there uh, and see what I got. Okay, here we go. How are you connecting to the lights? Custom connector. So good question. Uh, I'm going to say that, uh, all right. I'm going to say that the connector I'm using 
uh, is from IFTT. So IFTT.com. And uh, in IFTT, I have um, my connectors are here. So these are all my webhooks uh, into IFTT, which basically I can call. I'm not going to give you my key, but essentially, uh, you know, it's a full string with my key and then that tr triggers on these devices. And this is very simple. I'll show you how it, this does, but IFTT is similar to flow, but, you know, allows you to connect to other things. And so in here, you can see an example. Uh, what I've done in here is if a rep request is received, uh, then it would uh, go back. It would then change a light in the office and change the light. So that's how I did that part. So that, so I had IFTT from before and they have the service. And so I'm using Flow to connect or push to it. I don't believe there's an IFTT connector inside Flow. So that's a good question. Thanks for that. Um, well, that's it for me. Nothing more. Uh, I'm going to leave you uh, with this. So here is the flying. I'll fly away. All right. So here is, that is me. Uh, oh, actually, I'm not in the scene anymore. I wonder why. It's because I've got to reset myself. Bam, I'm back there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was entertaining. Uh, next time I should play some music. So it just doesn't sound like I'm alone here. But if you have any questions, or if you're learning, you're welcome. Thanks for that. If you have any questions on uh, flow as I'm learning, I'll be happy to share what I've discovered along the way. See you guys next time.